Hey guys, welcome to vtshakademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to solve few examples on cyclic expressions. So here expand sigma a comma b comma c a square plus b square into a minus b whole square. So here we have sigma a comma b comma c into a plus 1 whole cube into b square minus c square. Now let us expand the first one. We get sigma a comma b comma c into a square plus b square into a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square into a minus b whole square plus b square plus c square into b minus c whole square plus c square plus a square into c minus a whole square. Now let us expand the second example. So here we have sigma a comma b comma c a plus 1 whole cube into b square minus c square. So here by expanding this we get a plus 1 whole cube into b square minus c square plus b plus 1 whole cube into c square minus a square plus c plus 1 whole cube into a square minus b square. Now let us proceed and solve another example over here. So here simplify sigma a comma b comma c a whole square minus sigma a comma b comma c a square and the second one as x y z x square into y square minus z square. So now here let us simplify the first one. And now here by expanding the first term we get a plus b plus c whole square minus and here by expanding the second term we get a square plus b square plus c square. And now here we know the formula a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. And here minus into a square would be minus a square minus into plus b square would be minus b square minus into plus c square would be minus c square. So here minus a square and plus a square get cancelled. Similarly minus b square and plus b square get cancelled. And here plus c square and minus c square also gets cancelled. So here we get this as 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. And here by taking 2 as a common factor we can write this expression as 2 into ab plus bc plus ca. And now let us simplify the second one. So here let us expand this expression. We get x square into y square minus z square plus y square into z square minus x square plus z square into x square minus y square. So here by multiplying x with the group y square minus z square we get x square y square minus x square z square and here by multiplying y square with the group z square minus x square we get here plus y square z square minus x square y square and here by multiplying z with the group x square minus y square we get x square z square minus y square z square and here plus x square y square and minus x square y square get cancelled and here minus x square z square and plus x square z square get cancelled and here plus y square z square and minus y square z square get cancelled. So here we get the result as 0. So this was the basic introduction on how to solve an example on cyclic expressions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.